So once you open up Toon Boom and you're able to Toon Boom Harmony and see uh, the interface, uh, so you can see that as in many animation programs, the toolbar is here on the left. So something like brush over here, which you can grab and then draw out is over here. There's something like a pencil tool over here as well, eraser and things like that. Even text tool that you can type text with. There's fill color over here as well, as you can see. So you can actually fill color with this. There's the color picker and everything else, all the major tools to actually start animating or drawing is over here on the left side, like selection tool and everything which you can select and modify. All of the uh, modification tool are over here on the right. So let's say, for example, if you were to choose uh, something like the pencil, you can see that you can adjust the level of thickness by going over here onto the right, as you can see. So you can adjust the level of smoothness and everything right over here and adjust the types of pencil over here as well. There's some color settings over here as well. So you want to draw something red and everything right here. So the color settings are here. And over here on the top, there's saving and other options given to you. So we're going to look at all of these as the lessons progress. And on the bottom, of course, there's the timeline. So this is set up for frame by frame drawing, as you can see right here. So if you want to animate it and then do a frame by frame animation, you can see that this can be used. Also, the frame rate settings right over here and everything is located right over here. If you're used to a software called Adobe Animate, then you might be familiar with the workflow over here at the bottom as well. So over here on the top side, you can also switch out to library and other things like that. You can switch from camera view to drawing view like over here. So these are different views where that we're going to talk about as well. And if you want to change the layout, what you can do is let's say this is very flexible. So you can just pull out a tab and then keep it anywhere you like as actually. So you can pull out, keep it back over there and rearrange out according to what you like. So just drag in the pool properties, keep it anywhere you like this like this. If you were to press Ctrl F, then it actually makes your app full screen. Press Ctrl F again, then you have a full screen app right over here. So you can go over here, select this area, press Ctrl F, Ctrl F again, you get to full screen mode. Press Ctrl F again, you're back to the regular view. But if you were to go over here, like something like the timeline, press Ctrl F, Ctrl F again, it actually zooms in the timeline, press Ctrl F again, and you're back. So that is how you can control the zoom level. Also, there are different layouts of interfaces. So uh, let's say you want a different type of layout. You can go to Windows and let's say you want to go for drawing type of a layout and drawing layout is there. If you want to change the overall workspace, you can actually go over here and choose a compositing workspace, which will rearrange everything out in a while. So everything is loading, as you can see. So it is loading out a new workspace just like that. If you want everything to return back to normal, you can actually go over here and click on restore default workspace so, and it'll bring out everything into default. So it is loading. It does. It is normal for to move to take some time while loading things. So once that is done, you can actually go over here as well and save your custom workspace. So let's say you don't want this tool property and you just want to save this layout just like that. You can just go to Windows, go over here and save the workspace. So save workspace right over here or save the workspace as and then uh, name it something like two to two. Press OK and it'll appear over here on the menu. So you can so go over here and I can see two to two is here. So let me just go back to default and reset the default. We are going to work with the default layout in the entire session for this so that it's easier to follow along. So there are other options over here as well. A lot of options to customize. As you can see, you can pull off the two tools and then you got tools on the left, adjustment settings on the right. And we're going to learn more about this as the lesson progresses. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.